High school athletes can now cash in on their athletic abilities. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Frank Malloy. And I'm Lori Johnson. The Georgia High School Association voted this morning to allow compensation to student athletes for their name, image, or likeness, also known as NIL. Cecily Stout joins us in the studio to explain how it will work. Yes, Frank Laurie, I spoke with the association's president, Jim Finch. He explained how the association got here, the benefits and concerns for NIL and high school sports. NIL has become a well-known abbreviation in the sports world, but for people unfamiliar, GHSA president Jim Finch explains it boils down to compensation. Compensation for their notoriety or their fame or their attachment to a certain school or sport or activity. But NIL is specific to opportunities off the field. Students should be able to profit off of this. Should they be getting paid uh, for performance? No. There are also restrictions when athletes do strike a deal with their NIL. Without necessarily uh, leveraging their school's name or their logo or the GHSA or whatever. And it cannot be used as leverage for recruiting. The way we've got it written right now is that, um, you know, in, NIL can't be used to influence a student's uh, opportunity to stay at a, at a certain school nor transfer to a certain school, and I hope it stays that way. When high school athletes do find a deal, they need to follow the process within a week. They have to make sure that their school uh, is informed and then uh, there has to be uh, a registration process with the Georgia High School Association as well. If athletes are found in violation of the NIL rules, the athlete and the school could be affected. For a student athlete, it would very much jeopardize their eligibility to, to participate in extracurricular activities, specifically athletics. Uh, for schools, it could jeopardize their ability to be able to participate in that, uh, that sport or that postseason. Finch says he's excited about the move and what it means for the future of athletes. And, you know, I think that part is exciting instead of someone else benefiting off of their name, image, and likeness. Finch says Georgia will be joining a list of more than 30 states that have NIL at the high school level. Collegiate NIL is the model, but GHSA has modifications pr to protect eligibility. Back to you at the desk. Thank you, Cecily. The GHSA restricted collectives or organizations dedicated to NIL. Now, those organizations are usually responsible for finding deals and then paying student athletes directly instead of the establishments the athlete works with.